respond, you're going to get beat. This is a nice throw by Jake Garcia. Put it right there. Morris to make good decisions. Play action. Morris has three men going deep. He's chased. He loses a man. Has a man short. Wants to go deep. Wide open. Safety, 7-2. Later in the second, Kaya finds Stacy Coley over the middle. No one can catch him. Coming in his face and gets it out on time. Always able to keep his balance, and then it's just a foot race to the end zone. What a playable throw. Looking for Knighton out of the backfield. He's got it, and he's gone. Kane's family, welcome back to another review. It's offensive coordinator time, probably the hottest uh, subject that I, I, I've ever seen as part of Kane's Twitter. And not any shade, but we got to start this thing off with some red zone scoring. I mean, I mean, I just need to see points inside the 20. Everybody knows what's up. I'm not going to say no names, but, you know, that, that was lacking. <laughs> that was lacking. Uh, so you have UTSA here, man, and they're going to drop their corners into a, you know, a, to a deep zone. And then just start banjoing everything inside while they have a spy on their quarterback. Houston has a little mobile quarterback. Um, but I just love this because they're faking a smash concept right here. You have this dig coming in. You have this little speed out going in. And look at Tank Dell, right? Look at his body. He's selling. One Tank Dell is a beast. So it, it, this is nice. But this is why you need a receiver coach to know what, you're, you know what your guys want to do so they can teach their receivers how to do it. See that where his head Here comes the fake. This defender's automatically thinking, all right, I'm going to pass him off to my guy. We have that corner covered. And then here comes Tank snapping the back around across the inside, wide open for a touchdown. You're going to see it a little bit later, uh, like literally in a couple seconds when they replay this junk. But, yo, that's that's sexy. That That is what we're talking We're going to make somebody feel comfortable. Oh, it's just a smash concept. He's going this way. That's how you use, you know, the inner tunes of right running uh, to get things for you. And your OC, they got to understand their personnel. So right here's Tank. He's going to go ahead and get this outside stem here. Sells with eyes. You always got to sell with your eyes. Because, look, now this, this dude's going to turn and look at the quarterback. He has no idea. He thought he just passed him off. This is great. This is how you scheme a guy open. Tank Dell is going to be double covered throughout this whole damn review, and he gets the ball anyways. That's what we need. We need somebody who could scheme somebody open, let that bit fly, TVD about to eat. I might start telling lies, but, hey, who cares? It's what we do, baby. Yes, Kane's family. Not only do I got you guys with the film reviews, but if you guys are taking a break from the TL and starting engaging in white collar crime, I got just the law firm for you. With my dogs over there at Sala, Asterita, and Cox is a boutique law firm that focuses on white collar criminal defense and SEC, SEC regulatory matters. So we know that's big boys. We know what the SEC is, and they represent victims of financial fraud. Their partners have experience with the Department of Justice and the SEC, and are AV rated. So that's big boy. Thus, <laughs> they are routinely listed as Florida super lawyers and Florida's legal elite. They can be contacted at 561-989-9080 or go to their website at sala, S-A-L-L-A-H, law.com. Let's get it. Yes, let me get some of that. Let me get some of this, man. We got double stacks, formations, you know, spread out. Look at that defense. Look at this box. You know, that's a sexy box to run into. And guess what's better? When you have a quarterback who can run, which we do, and Jakari and in TVD, people are asleep on my dog, but my dog can move. Look at this QB power here. Look at how light this box is. This is five on seven, basically. That's what the numbers is. This is really similar to Lashley's offense where the running game is really predicated on numbers in the box. So you pull that tight end, you pull that left guard, and boom. Here comes the QB power. You have numbers for it. You can get a first down. I really like this style and element of the offense, to be honest with you. Spread they ass out. I'm all about that numbers game in the box. It was driving me crazy last year to see us run with eight people, nine people in the box. Like, this, th thank you. This is this is it, Kane's family. Like, <laughs> we're here. We're out the Stone Age, my guy. <laughs> So this is, you know, the new thing when it comes to football. You know, the quarterback sneak. Uh, you, if anybody sees the Eagles play, Jalen Hurts, that play is pretty much unstoppable. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the quarterbacks, you know, a lot of big, strong quarterbacks, <clears throat> TVD, 
big, strong quarterback, you know, do this. They walk into the line, and it's just so hard to stop. So, you know, again, we struggled. I can't even tell you. I can't even emphasize how much we struggled uh, in short yardage situations just a year ago. Uh, so, one, aggressiveness, which he had to have the go-ahead for his, from his head coach to go for it, you know, on your 35-yard line uh, on the first drive of the game. So, you know, shout-out to that. Uh, that's, that's my type of guy. <laughs> but, again, just – do what do what's you know not just trending but is working my g like just you know it's it's happy to see a guy that's used doing stuff that you know is is modern you know it, it, it's gonna fit great we have a big strong quarterback obviously the future of jakari brown uh in this offense seems really good i'm, I'm gonna get into a lot of stuff for jakari moving forward again another critical situation you have to convert Gonna bring Tank here in motion, so everybody in their mama is gonna be looking as the best player on the field. And then here comes that counter. You see that pool, that backside left tackle, left guard. Now the quarterback has a convoy. Everybody's down blocking except that right tackle. He's pushing outside, and then it creates that alleyway. Right, great way to convert, man. So running quarterback, I think he could adjust. Uh, to you know, running quarterbacks, I think uh, he'll adjust, man. So TVD, some of that mobility will be shown, but uh. Moving forward with Jakari, I think this is going to be a big piece of the offense. 11 personnel here. You have your tight end here. Trips here to the field side. Simple inside zone, something we've seen a lot. But Texas Tech has three down linemen. So this is going to be lovely. You see everybody in one motion when you're zone blocking. You're just stepping to get either right or your left, right? But since there's going to be a free man, these guards are going to bo both get up to the linebackers, man, which is awesome to see. Both guards up up to a backer, and that just creates that huge hole uh, for the running back. So this is a third and a third and ten being converted on a run. That's what you like to see. Um, I do believe, you know, even you know, Coach Doss has said it himself that he got away from the running game a little bit last year. Obviously, his main back was was hurt, and he kind of manufactured a lot of things with his quarterback and a couple other other guys and stuff. Excuse me, I got the hiccups for some reason. Um, but I'd love to see. This is a simple thing uh, with the zone blocking, man. Uh, I mean. They're going to coach the life out of these O-linemen. I'm pretty sure, you know, the O-linemen at Houston aren't going to be the the same caliber at, you know, the Francis's and the Pancakes and, you know, whoever else comes in. Cohen, Matt Lee, you guys get what I'm saying. So the, the running game, which I will go over, uh, some bright moments, which is one like this, and some down moments. But I do believe, you know, Mario Cristobal and our offensive line, Coach Mirabal and that staff is going to make that obsolete. So I'm 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 loving the innovativeness here. Uh, obviously, he does a lot of quick quick passes, quick screens to you know help alleviate some of that running game woes, which I'll get more into later because I you know I I don't think that that's great for the old lineman sometimes when it comes to mentality wise. What Rhett Lashley, you know, we did a lot of those things, and then when you, when he needed a yard, you know, you couldn't run for it. Uh, but let's just get into the good right here. It's going to be a running back screen. This is an innovative right. So you're engaging, you're engaging, and you're letting your right side, you know. The release and like let your left side keep going so th this looks real this is a rollout but it's a rollout screen you see that you see these linemen go ahead and start releasing to get up field this is all day planned so it makes it look to a defensive lineman like hey man he's rolling out he's trying to escape this pressure you got these guys block blocking skill still but it's really just the right side releasing and then getting this guy behind the line of scrimmage just in case uh you know they can't throw any flags for it but again i like some innovativeness great you can't run can't run the ball with some of the personnel you got find a way around it again masterful at the screen game when you don't have a running game got to manufacture got to manufacture some of these yards right so you, you bring your best player in motion tank dell look at everybody's eyes they look they're looking at them they're looking at them and then now you release your back out for the screen now the linemen are all out in front great blocks here from the o-line and excellent block here from this receiver man He's a baller, too. You'll get into it. But, you know, if any time you get a, a short play downfield, you know, that a short play that goes all the way downfield, great blocking. Could have been a block in the back here, but, you know, ref sitting right there. If he ain't throw it, he ain't throw it. Uh, again, just get the best player going east, come back west. It, it, it's just a great misdirection, man. This is just how these offenses work. It's You're going at such a high tempo that you give the defense something, they're focused on it. And then you hit them somewhere else. And then by the t time they realize what really happened, you're already getting back on the ball to snap it again. So they never really get set. It, it, it's just a lovely style of offense. Again, just 12 personnel. This is something Canes fans should be really familiar with. 
when we had Rhett Lashley here, this is just, you know, two receivers out. You have your two tight ends, simple zone read. This looks just like the Cam Harris uh, UAB 73-yard touchdown, right? You get, you get your bodies here, right? They're flowing. They're zone blocking. You see everybody stepping to the right. Running back pushes the line of scrimmage and just starts weaving through. And then there's the crease, right? Safety takes a bad angle. And then it's off to the races. This is literally very similar to Rhett Lashley's running game. I know a lot of people had issues with it. I was one of the, those people. Uh, but when it works, it, it pops. Trust me. It's, it's going to pop. It's all about numbers in that box. Like I know it's hard to say a quarterback who threw for 4,000 yards is cheeks, but, bro, he, he really is looking at this film film uh you know i, I just <laughs> we're on a different thank god we have tvd let's just say that so this is trips here you know bunch on the hash this is third and four your oc is gonna draw you up a, a first down so easy to your number one guy you got to be able to take it right so you're spreading them out you got them trips bunched here you, here's tank dell right this is what we're doing this is just a uh -uh, get inside and then take him up field this is an automatic free release because there's nothing you could do to touch him you're sitting right here, my guy. There's no pressure. There was no reason to step up like that. Here's Tank Dell sitting at the first down like you, like it's drawn up to do. You know, that you have to be able to take that. I'm sorry. that That's cheeks. Like, I'm sorry. That's just cheeks, my G. Like, this, this is literally drawn up for you. I've never seen somebody look at something, see it worked, and then said, hey, you know, I, 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 think, I'm, I think I'm Johnny. You're not, fam. You're not. Two by two set here with your back. This is going to be cover three. You can tell just by the way these guys moving and their their technique shells. So they got their deep third, their deep third, and the safety who's not even on the screen. You know it has deep middle. So what you're looking for is one. You're trying to spread linebackers out. So that's what this out to tank does. This is going to go ahead and draw two defenders towards him. And now you got this dig butt naked across the middle, which which is the soft spot because that safety has to be as deep as the deepest man. And you already sent somebody down here. So the safety has to maintain his depth to help that corner if he needs to. And then it's boom, right in the middle, right? So that's one of the weaknesses of cover three. Either those seams or that deep middle if you can get overneath, uh, if you can get over that second level defender. So this is just money, how you run it in the air raid. Again, what I mean, Kane's family, this is a numbers in the box. Like we run the ball when we have numbers, right? So it's spread out, two by two set, you know, it's, you know, four wide. Guess what happens here when you shift out this running back, right? So this guy comes with them. Now it's one, two, three, four, five on six. So now you're going six on five. You love those numbers all day. That linebacker ended up dropping back. But it's, oh, excuse me again, the hiccups ain't, ain't going nowhere, y'all boys. It's been hours. But this is how you lighten up the box. Like I, we were motioning people in last year tight to then have their those people follow them and then run it up into it. It was crazy, my G. It was just defied all logic. I love the fact that the number say run. We gonna run that bit. This is nice setup here um, from the OC. So it's a quad quad look here. We're gonna be looking at two plays. It's a quad look here. You have a tight end, three receivers out. This is just a simple. Go ahead and block. I'm throwing this ball to tank a little speed out behind the line of scrimmage so y'all can go ahead and block. Obviously, it's a positive play. You're giving it to one of the best playmakers in the country it's so just again Kane's family just watch this little simple concept so everybody now has to fly out because it's tank you you have to you have to respect it you have to get out there because if you're not running full speed you know before he gets the ball then you're most likely not going to get there right so then let's go ahead and get over here to here and we'll see how that play we're going to go ahead and send tank in motion and look at see what this same concept does now everybody's spreading wide. This guy's going for that backer. Now it's QB draw time with the center leading the way. This is big stuff. I mean, this this is a you know a guy who's setting things up, but it doesn't have to be a negative play or a sac sacrifice play like we saw a little bit with Lashley. You don't have to just you know kill a play just to set it up. Um, you can have a successful play and then spread these guys. I mean, this is all about getting these guys horizontal, horizontal, and now we going vertical. So this is a numbers thing in the in the box. I mean, there's nobody left. This guy's running butt naked up this hash. Like, th this dude doesn't even make his block, and he still scores. I mean, this is just great play calling here. Again, 
Got to have it. It's third and four. They're bringing their tight. It's a 22 set. So you got two backs in the backfield. They're bringing their tight end in motion. It's telling them it's zone by the way they're checking. This is just great here. You're going to have. We'll just let it roll real time. I'm sorry that we got to watch the Yankees and Oriole. You got a mesh concept here, which is going to hold second level defenders. And you get that curl right over the top. So what's going on here is you get that motion. Tells you it's not man. You got this out and up coming here from this running back. And you have this this drag. I mean, this mesh concept coming here. So that's going to keep the you know defenders here. They're playing the sticks. So what that does is that outside receiver who was standing in a little bit is going to, one, get a free release and then just push up field and stop, which is just money because as this guy continues to cross, it's going to widen this guy out. So that automatically op opens the throwing lane. So that's just understanding you know, coverages, that's understanding and having a plan. If this was man, those, you know, those crossing routes would have probably been good. You know, that, that out, you know, that out and up or a wheel route from the running back might've been a chance for a one-on-one -on -one or a goal ball. But, you know, this is just really understanding how to move the football. Kane's family should, you know, know things like this. When we had trouble, you know, punching it in the goal line, we went to the RPO game and was ripping that thing to ramble on this slant. This is no different. This 12 set personnel. Keep you, you know, your two receivers split. Go ahead and hold it, hold it, and then just take that one-on-one -on -one slant all day uh to your best guy, which is gonna be tank tank for them. And it was Rambo for us. We'll see who steps up to be that guy uh for the Hurricanes this year. But I expect it's a lot. I I'm expecting a lot of RPO slants coming out of this offense. All right, look, Kings fan, I ain't trying to give y'all nightmares, but he does run count counter. <laughs> I know it's in it's in a lot of our minds what that running play does, but now it's going to be on our side. So you're going to see here trips here to the field side. You're going to bring this H back and your left guard. You see the running back here uh, counter. Let's go ahead and get that popping for the first down. I mean, this this is a, just a blessing to see because I think everybody and they mama who understands as a Canes fan that counters are very effective against aggressive defenses. So we can go ahead and run this all day. You know, seeing this finish off this drive the way they did, you know, made me a little happier about it. They bring the tight end here in motion. You know, so it's going to be two tight ends on this 12 set. And this ball off his zone blocking. Everybody's very familiar with this scheme. Uh, but to, to punch it in, so you had your first run, right? This is literally the same play. They if they ain't stop it the first time. Are they gonna stop it the second time, and hand that thing off for the first down? So I, I like the attitude. I feel like when this guy has the horses. Obviously at Southern Miss, he had a great running game going on. Had a great running game going on in 2021. If he has his horses at running back, which we have horses at running back, I think the running game is gonna you know take care of itself. Uh, but again, same play three times in a row, man. Just this time no motion go ahead and hand this thing off and punch it into the end zone for a touchdown so nice to see that physicality nice to see that you know just that want to just overpower set the tone this is the fourth quarter uh you know it's a low scoring game but you know keep leaning on keep leaning on keep leaning on them all game so you can get these type of opportunities and then finish with that toughness love this this is you know this is another 22 set you got two running backs here look at this box there's a lot of there's, you know there's more Bodies in here is going to tell you, hey, maybe a little favorable outside. Going to go ahead and swing this guy and motion him across. Works out perfectly because they did a nickel blitz. Quarterback sees it, automatically gets it out there, right? So that's a run pass option. He has the option to give it, uh, but that box was just looking too good. Uh, you know, I mean, the, that outside was looking just too good not to go ahead and swing it. And then this guy blitz. This is just perfect in the making. But this is what happens when you're counting numbers in the box. You can go ahead and get get out of a bad play. I feel like we had so much bad plays last year that we could have just got out of uh, if you had things built in this way to the offense. I mean, this guy could have literally just handed that ball off if he wanted to or if, if that's what the numbers told him to. Or you can go ahead and swing swing this out if the numbers tell you to, man. Like, this is just the, the new age of college football. I mean, we got a taste of it already. Hopefully we don't. <laughs> hopefully we don't ever deviate from it. Again, I am so happy that we have TBD because, bro, this man is. I'm, I'm telling you, he probably is the worst quarterback to ever throw for for 4,000 yards. I mean, trust me, bro. Yeah, trips here to the field side. He's gonna just not take a first down here. Who wants the first down? Why, why, why take this first down? It's third and three. Okay, let's let's not take this first down. Let's continue to sit in the pocket. 
All right, we have a delayed release from the back. Let's not take this first down. Let's, he's showing you his numbers the whole way up. Let's just go this way. I mean, bro, this dude is legit cheeks, bro. He's <laughs> the, definitely the the worst quarterback to ever throw for 4,000 yards because, I mean, dog, like he he's allergic to taking the e easy first down throw that's given to him. I mean, bro, like I showed a couple earlier. Like, dog, they've been littered. I didn't want to fill up the tape with it. But, bro, I, I think uh, the, the level of QBs that he can get at Miami is, is going to unlock this offense to the next level. Because, I mean, Jesus, my guy. The boy, boy think he Johnny. <laughs> you ass. Oh, it's third down. You know you have man. It's, I, I'm loving this concept, right? So you're going to go ahead and have two. Two by two, you're going to have this speed out, just leak out, man, and get this going. It's going to be a high low. But look at this inside stem. This is an out route. Get inside, beautifully run. This is why you need to have a receiver coach who understands the intricacies of running these type of routes. Get that inside stem in. Start pushing vertical. See how this guy opens up, and then it's baked chicken. Now he has outside leverage on an outside breaking route when he originally, you know, didn't have that leverage. So it's it's all about. It's all about the inner workings of of these things, bro. You snap the ball and get a first down on third. That's three more chances, unless you know you have a turn turnover or something, uh, to get that ball moving. So it, this is critical uh, to have somebody with this type of mindset to one be aggressive and two just have concepts that really work. <laughs> Start off in a two by two, and you know you have a little stack going on over here. Most of their tight end over here, so it's trips here to the field side. We're going to send everybody deep, my G. Go ahead. Go ahead. Clear out. Clear out. Clear out. Fake block. Fake block. Everybody's going to get into their depths. Ah, yeah. Yes, sir. Let's give me this first down. Easy money. This is what I love to see. Just some creativity. Get everybody ass down there. Yeah. Now we're throwing it real quick on a delayed block, you know, to our tight our tight end like just be innovative, be fun. This is this is probably one of the funnest reviews I've done and probably since Making my last review uh, of for the OC, uh, just hyping it up. I mean, Jesus, bro, th this is just nice to see. Just saying, he probably would have averaged more points per game at Houston if you know he had a better kicker, man. I originally thought this thing was blocked, my G, but Bubba Baxa just out here, you know, backsing it up. I mean, it looked like it, but it just goes so left, no one touches it. It literally, it just this other angle, man. Like nobody touches this ball. It just goes that way. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> God, you know I, I gotta give Lashley his credit because you know we're, they're actually gonna run Lashley's play that you know he made big pop in uh, versus Pitt. Uh, so this is this is what you want though you want you want an inner coordinator you know who can incorporate new things and you know have their turn of people stealing their concepts right. So make this work here. They're gonna go ahead and get their receiver in motion. I mean uh, hand this off. Get him going in. He's going to catch it, put it back. And now here comes the tight end leaking down the sideline. Not the best of balls. Probably should have, you know, let him. <laughs> but, you know, again, uh, you know, just give the tight end a chance. But, again, big head top incorporating this concept. I mean, probably throws it a little earlier, puts it out ahead. It's probably a bigger play. But it is what it is. As long as you complete the shot play, you complete it. Um, but nice to see. I've been comparing him to Lashley. And then just to see this Lashley play on <laughs> on the <laughs> on the review is just nice to see. You know, so this is an area, you know, where you want to see just maybe a little bit more. Uh, but I think our offensive line help with, you know, help maybe, you know, be able to run it more in here. This is a 12 set. You got two tight ends. You got a receiver down here. Uh, he's going to go ahead and give his best receiver a, a fade ball. It's wide open. The quarterback just misses it. Uh, you got to get this completion. It's a touchdown. Uh, but since you don't, now you got to try to go ahead and run the football. But when you manufacture, like I said earlier, when you manufacture the run game all, all the time, you don't have that mentality with your old lineman. So now it, it's crunch time, and you got to go ahead and, you know, man up and go ahead and block these guys mano e mano. Sometimes it just doesn't work out in your favor. You're going to get stopped here. Looks great. Here comes the QB sneak that we loved. It's going to get stopped here. Great job by Memphis defense, by the way. It's super hard to stop a, a QB sneak, man. I'm just, just saying. Here comes fourth and goal again. Stopped. So, I mean, 
you have to go ahead and develop that mentality when it comes to running the football. So I think Coach Mario is going to you know, make sure that happens. Coach Mirabal is going to make sure that happens. Um, but that's just something you have to worry about when you fabricate the run game. So you call it an extension of the run game with these quick passes, bubble screens, quick things, you know, flats, all that stuff, right? But you don't let your linemen build that, you know, that <clears throat> throughout the course of the game and start leaning in on people. So now you're in the third quarter and, you know, you can't get a yard. You know, a lot of things happened like that last year uh, where we're at last year where we couldn't get a yard. And it's kind of due to that, in my opinion, or at least a key factor in that, in my opinion. You know, two by two set here. You have this into the Browns. You're going to have a switch release. So you, that basically all this means is, uh, uh, that's all the switch release is. And uh, this is going against cover three. So it's playing shell. He's playing deep third. You're going to see this safety sit. And while he gets deep middle, and you'll see this corner as well. Um, but what happens when you have this uh, switch release, you're going to have get him basically free up the seam, which is the weakness of cover three. This is going to be a great ball here this time from his quarterback. You see that going now. He's inside. Put it high. Boom. Easy money. So this is the type of explosive plays that we're supposed to be taking. Obviously, that's just a great job by the receiver fighting after the catch. But, again, great. If that would have been a cover two concept, he probably would have hit his swing man, you know, in the gap between that safety as he goes, you know, out here. So this is if it's man on a switch release, it's super hard. So it's nice to see concepts that could have worked no matter what type of, you know, look you get on that play. This was nice to see two by two set instead of the inside zone, one with a little outside zone here. For the first down, great job by the O lineman getting up field. Great cut by the running back, and uh, for great results. But nice to see just a little mix up, uh, not just a handed inside, inside zone, inside zone, inside zone. Nice to see the outside zone, especially with the speed that Houston has. You know we're gonna have that speed here at Miami plus some. Two by two set here. Your outside receiver is gonna be the same concept Tanks Dell scored on last time. Instead of him running that corner, he ran that post. Now this time. Instead of making it look like a smash concept and going across, it's actually just a smash concept. So you have this little quick quick flat from your running back. You have this snag slant stop, and then here comes the corner right over it. So that clear window, just to put it on the sideline for this touchdown. I mean, you're, you're attacking a safety. He's trying to keep inside because you're showing that, hey, you'll fake that smash and go across the middle. And then now you just hit it with a perfect ball to the sideline. That's just how you do it, man. Nice to see when you go man on the goal line, you're prepared for it. Nice little rub route, delay speed out. Get this slant going across as long as you're fighting through it. Loki, I thought he was blocking a little bit. Got to sell a little bit better than that. Um, but it doesn't get called. Easy touchdown. Love this. You're in the red zone. Again, something that, you know, hindered us a lot last season. Simple. Don't make it easy. See everybody? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're going to bring people. It's going to be one-on-ones. Simple smash concept. He's going to be He's scared to give up the inside. One move inside, he's going to overreact. Easy money. You know, don't make it harder than what it needs to be. That's what I love about it. Easy money. I love this. Another pressure look here in the red zone. We're going to get this trips here to the boundary. So you can have more space going on here with this one-on-one -on -one matchup, which is just literally going to be a whip route. He's going out. He's cutting back in. Mm, easy money. Get your best player in space one-on-one. -on -one. Trips over here is going to hold this safety. That safety is not going this way. He has all this action going here. Then you get the whip route from outside back in. This is how you get your playmaker the ball in space. 1v1. All right, Kings family. So 13 set here. You got three tight ends, one receiver. Going to go ahead and get this play action hard. Delay, 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 block, and then release for this easy over-the-top touchdown pass. Love it. Red zone, get some creativity. Let's get some points, baby. Love this. So we already talked about the switch release, but this is basically like a bait, right? So you're, you're going to have this receiver going out, running like out route. You'll have him going in. So you think, you know, they're about to switch release, and then he just continues to go upfield for a fade. That, that That's just nice, man. That That's really nice. You'll see them going across. He's going to push inside and then get outside for that fade. So faking the switch release, getting to the fade, and then getting the back shoulder ball. I mean, that's creative. I've actually never even seen that concept. Uh, so that's that's super cool. I'm learning from that. Thank you, bro. So much times last year, we didn't even give – there there was like probably – I can count on one hand how much balls traveled in the air 
in the end zone. I mean, we were not doing anything like <laughs> we were not putting up any 50-50 ball in the end zone to come down with. Just nice to see a guy throwing fades, man. So you see that receiver. <laughs> Basically, he's just reestablishing the line of scrimmage. He's just cutting closer, cutting closer, getting into him just to lean him inside a little bit. And then you break off of that fade. Uh, the fade ball is beautiful. You got to take it. It's an aggressive mindset. I hate people who don't throw fades. I, I, I don't want to say I don't respect them. But, you know, from down here, you know, you want the fade. I mean, I just was coaching the seven on seven tournament, bro. And guess what? Every player asked me for. Let me get that fade. Let me get that fade. Man, recruit some dogs. Get that fade going. You know, like we've seen already, man, you go heavy with 13 set, three tight ends on the field. Uh, just to get that space for this RPO, easy money to slant. Just like we did with Rambo, baby. So it trips here to the uh, to the field side. You have your tight end here. Your two receivers off rip. You're pulling that left guard in that uh, <clears throat> in that tight end. It's a counter play. Something that I do not have to explain is how why it's super successful uh, to Kane's family. Uh, go ahead and get this counter. Easy cut back up for a touchdown. I mean, this is just how you draw it. You want to shave, you know, wash that D line down. Everybody's zone blocking to the right, other than our poolers. You get that tight end whamming. You get that pooler. And now it's just follow your blocks. Great cut inside by that running back who was there, baller, uh, Sneed. And, he, you know, the, don't get away from it. It's very successful. It's the counter game, man. Go ahead. Now you're in the two-by-two two set. Go ahead and get that left guard going, that tight end going again. And guess what? Just cut off that tight end's block. This is great job here from this old lineman. I got to shout him out because look at this, man. Driving, driving, driving. He's a left tackle here. He's going to – actually, he's a right guard. I'm just tripping. He shoots up, shoots up, shoots up for this hole. I mean, dog, kudos to this right guard. But, again, running that counter. Again, you don't have to explain it to Kane's family, but I'm having to. That counter is super successful, especially against, you know, fast, aggressive defenses. Again, in the red zone, doesn't have the best running game to rely on due to his personnel. How do you score points? Super creative, man. You got the trips here to the field side. You're basically, you're having these receivers, your outside receiver, he's crossing. He's going to cross, and then here's your number two guy who's going to be running, you know, what they think is a whip. He's going to stop, and then eh, now he's upfield on the wheel route, basically, and the ball's on time, on the money. Like, let's just be creative, bro. This this is this was fun. You know, this is very fun to watch. Everybody thinks he's going to either just whip out and he's keeping in front, and then he just burst out full speed, so he's able to get behind that zone defender. Yes, that's both his receivers that crossed inside. And then, boom, on the money. This is innovative. That's fun. That's something that you could put Rashard Smith, Xavier Restrepo, you know, Ray Ray, uh, you know, Robbie. These are things that, you know, you could just imagine putting our players, our slot in that position. And it's it's money every time. I want to talk about some things you could do with TVD with his legs or, you know, furthermore, Jakari with his legs. You get two by two set. I mean, <clears throat> you get a empty set. There's trips here and then two here to the boundary. And then you bring Tank in that orbit motion. Get everybody's eyes and focus going that way. And then here comes the eh, fake that. Now it's QB power. And I'm rolling. And he's going to break some tackles and, you know, show some speed down to the end zone. But it just shows... One, he could scheme up his best player, and then he could scheme off his best player to get the defense in a very vulnerable position. Go ahead and get this thing going. Obviously, you just got to tackle that. You got to wrap that up. But even regardless, there was 12, 15 yards before contact. That's sexy job. That's a sexy job. If you can get you can get a player 12 to 15 yards before contact, he started off and you know, you're in a 12 personnel set. You got tight end, tight end, two receivers here. You're motioning here. They're following with you. So it lets you know that's man. This is a max protection. You see the tight end stand. You see <clears throat> you see uh, the running back stand. So it's max protection. It's the three-man route. You can always count and see it. Just know this is just a flat. This is an over. And you have that post over the top. So just easily get your one-on-one -on -one matchup you, un you identify that it's going to be man bringing it across you know you have the time to wait on it you either have this you know crosser coming this way or this post over the top if not you're just throwing it out of the stands but when you have your guy you can go ahead and just chuck that to him so this is just great to see a max protection taking shots you saw a lot of this a lot of the field you know downfield throws we got to rambo we're in max protection so tvd is very super 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 familiar and very comfortable with it uh this is something that needs to make its way down to coral gables another max protects look a three-man route you got this fade going and you're gonna have tank doing a hitch and then it's coming across on this post so you can cross face of that safety who's sitting on tank 
Uh, it's no mistake why they're going across, but that ball needs to be thrown, you know, right here. Let him run under it. It's an easy touchdown. It's underthrown by five, six yards, so it's broken up, but this is just a great call here. Look at this safety commanding, you know, I mean, from Tank demanding that safety be here. Look how far he is outside the hash. So, of course, you're just going to cross face. Uh, this should have been an easy touchdown here, my G. Uh, but drawing it up, scheming it up, it, it's fire. We just got to execute it. And then you get over here uh, to this next play here where they go another max, you know, not max protect, but, you know, the guy leaks late. You get this drag, uh, you get this drag going, dig, crosser, whatever you want to call it. it fl uh, flat leaks out. And now you're going deep for the post. Again, under thrown, but now you're getting head top, my G. Uh, so love it. Attack it. You know, you're always going to get that inside leverage when you're in the slot, man. I'm try trying to tell you. Mm, head top. This is a crazy catch, my G. Obviously, you could have just you could have put it out in front of him like that last play and would have been a touchdown, but at least give your guy a chance to go get this ball. Like, imagine being him, look, having that full view of your dog just getting head top, my G. Damn. So, yeah, we're, we're taking a vertical deep shot here, which mwah, I love to see. You can't see it right now, but it's going to be a switch release going on between our tank Dell and our receiver. So what that does is in man, it automatically ensures that you cannot get a hand on them. So now this is just a full speed track meet, uh, which Houston's receiver wins. You'll, see, you'll check me out right here. So this is a stack. You're going, eh. Here's Tank going outside. He's going to be running this dig while he just goes for it. Without having no hands on him, it, it, it's over. You're just getting speed, 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 speed. Balls on the outside shoulder away from this safety that can help. That's actually a beautiful ball. I mean, I, I, oof. I got to give credit where it's due. That's a beautiful ball. Um, but again, the concept is crazy attacking this man uh, and then being super aggressive. I mean, my G, they are slanging this bit. Like, I cannot wait to see, you know, that in the orange or green. Like, bro, I was sitting in them 42 to 3 Florida State loss that whatever the hell the final score ended up being at Pittsburgh. You know, I was watching Duke put up all these damn points on us. MTSU put all these damn points on us. We couldn't score. I am so happy Coach Mario went and got him an aggressive play caller because i mean we deserve that shit yeah talking mushrooms you know what i'm saying we deserve that and i still a thon to the outside showed it Oof. two by two set here you got your best player tank here off so no one can jam them even though they're playing off uh they're gonna run you know they're gonna get vertical man just have tank coming across on a dig they're gonna bring some pressure here so he has to get out of the pocket, which works perfectly fine because he has Tank coming across with all this space. And you obviously know the first person is not going to tackle him. Uh, but this is just great play calling, man. Just go ahead, make sure he gets a free release. They didn't elect to press, but they could have. But if they did, it was over because of the way his alignment was. He's going to get that free release. Ended up bringing pressure so there was nobody to carry with him on the dig. It's just This is just... Mm, mm, and that cut. Eesh. A super aggressive play call. You got the stack here, so the safety's helping because he's expecting, you know, one of these guys to get off free. So if one of these guys get inside, the safety needs to be there to help. That's why Tank Davis, who is the best player on the field, isn't getting double covered or bracketed. Simple levels concept. Great design here, which enables that safety to stay more or at least start on this side of the field. Levels concept means hitch and slot fade. And this is a dime. Super dime. But you only get super dimes when you call aggressive plays if it's a dink and dunk offense you're not going to see super dimes but you gotta you gotta be aggressive downfield and then that's when you see the super dimes this is a dime mm. love that aggressive play calling bro love it so this is uh, something you know that probably smu didn't see you much or prepare for this is them under center hard play action and then you have the tight end here to the flat. Easy touchdown, simple, sophisticated, but I'm pretty sure, you know, they don't line up under center that much. So, you know, it wasn't something that they were expecting to see. Nice to switch it up a little bit. At this point in this game where, yes, it's that score is 77 to 56, you know, they're probably playing pass, playing pass. So great time in a two-by-two two set to go ahead and sneak this inside zone off. You see how the, all the, everybody's going this way? They're in straight pass mush road. They're, it's not really any gap integrity going on over here. They're not expecting this run. So as this guy go ahead and tries to get his one-on-one -on -one matchup with this right tackle, that's going to open up this huge hole uh, for this running back to just split through. 
makes one guy miss in the open field, and then it's to track me over here to the end zone. So love the call. Love the guts to go ahead and still run this. Uh, SMU got caught lacking off their alignment. And if uh, this is the great thing about the offense, man, hey, we could all we could pass it for explosive plays, but if that box is telling us to run it, I don't care if we're down, we're going to hand that ball off. Like this quarterback threw some bad, he had three interceptions this game, and uh, they still scored 63 points. Like, sheesh. Love scheming this, man. So this safety is sitting inside waiting for Tank, man. Uh, they're, they're literally trying to bracket him. And you're going to, and again, in the red zone, my G, just mm, so creative. Love it, love it, love it. This is just a clean rub route. So it's going to just be a slant and just take it in. Here's Tank perfectly timed, going to just break off his heel. So this safety was waiting for him to come inside. This guy's sitting here, and now he can't get back out. Uh, who's perfect this number 13 this is a great route here because he doesn't he's literally just slanting and then taking it upfield like literally just like an inside release like f like seam route he's just going taking it perfectly designed when they're trying to take away your best player you got three players and you have one guy who's supposed to stay outside and then you have two who are waiting for him to come in and you could still scheme him wide open i mean jesus you got the goodies my guy you got the goodies my guy I mean, we're, 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 you're scheming open the best guy on your team, the guy that they're trying to take away. I mean, it, it's crazy. Just trips here to the boundary, so it's real tight over here. You're going to have Tank here in the slot. Have this little hitch, and you have this seam straight straight up the hash. You have Tank moderating his speed uh, so he can cut right off his heel. There's no way. This is a rub route, you know, 15 yards downfield. That's how nasty this OC is. And you just get tank the ball in space. I mean, Jesus, my dude. Like, obviously, our players are going to have to be able to do this themselves. But uh, I, I like the fact that you can go ahead and rub somebody, you know, 15 yards downfield uh, and, and, and have how much space in between them? Like, I mean, you have a guy running here, uh, you know, with four, four yards away going, you know, diagonal. Plenty of space. Make this man miss. Uh, you know, oof, oof. Jesus, tank, tank nasty. But, I mean, Jesus, bro. Look how wide open that is. That's just, that's just great. That's just great scheme, dog. Everybody named Mama trying to stop him, bro. And you continuously get him open. That's crazy. Trips here to the field side. They're in, they're gonna be in a man single high, man. Take your shots. This offense is seeking out those one on one matchups. We saw that with Lashley. You know we didn't win some of those one on one matchups, but now mm, one on one matchup hunting, taking the deep shots. This is a Excuse me, this is a fun-ass offense. I mean, this is just a perfect time to call a jailbreak screen. Some Sometimes as a play caller, man, these things just come to you when you got that saw. So outside jailbreaking screen, man, you're going to see, look at T Tulsa. They're bringing everything. So this was just a perfect call right into the blitz. Thank God this dude caught it wide open. I know everybody's, you know, they remember this type of play. That's just, again, very Similar to Lashley, if you look at that Oklahoma State game where Wiggins dropped that screen coming right in that tunnel and he would have walked in, this is what it looks like if he would have caught it. This is just what it is, like just a great time to call this play. Mm. That's actually going to wrap up our Dawson review. Coach Dawson, we super happy to, to have you, bro.